colloquial name for a leopard here in the Sabi Sands is an ingwe. Ingwe means supreme power and authority. And that is exactly what we see out of the male leopards of Juma Game Reserve. Here in Sabi Sands we are incredibly fortunate that the density of leopards is very high. Now the reasons for this high density are numerous. We have a lot of water, a lot of prey items and we have perfect vegetation in the form of drainage lines that run through Juma that provide thickets and cover for leopards to thrive. The leopards of the Sabi Sands, particularly the males, are fiercely territorial and the reason for this is that there is a lot of competition. Now they'll go about marking their territory by urinating and using chemical signatures as well as vocalizing in the form of deep sores to try and prevent rivals coming into their territory. And if there is a competitor that is equally as powerful, they will come to a physical blow. The biggest territory that is held here at Juma is that of the Duke of Juma, Tingana. The Duke of Juma roams vast tracts of Juma Game Reserve and his territory extends well beyond the borders of our areas and he is incredibly successful for a number of reasons. We often find him moving around, calling, vocalizing, scent marking and covering vast tracts of land in very short spaces of time. Tingana's path to the throne was not an easy one. There was a legend that lay in this land and he was called Mvula. Mvula used to be dominant around the southern sections of Juma and as Tingana started to push in, the younger male managed to push the legend out and he pushed him further north. Mvula then settled into this nomadic lifestyle where he spent most of his time trying to keep quiet, not scent marking, not vocalizing and trying to just stay away from any of the dominant males. With the Mvula being a nomadic male and no longer pushing for the crown, it's left Tingana sitting very comfortably on the throne. But in a weird twist of fate, Mvula's young son Quarantine is now starting to push through on the east. While Tingana watches his eastern boundary from outside enemies, he'll have to cast his eye to the two young upstarts that are beginning their surge to dominance. The little prince Hosanna with the blood of the queen will surely be a contender in this game in the years to come. He still occupies the central areas of Tingana's territory and under the protection of dad is starting to grow and develop. With the disappearance of the queen, one of her eldest daughters has appeared on the scene once again and this time she's brought a young son with her. The impressive Tumba seems to bode all the attributes to be a future king, and he will not only be a threat to the Duke, but the Prince of Juma too. Are you wild about the wild? Subscribe to Safari Live and experience the wonders of the wilderness. And if you click on the bell below, we'll notify you every time a safari goes live.